I finally got the hold of this bad boy. She said 14 kilowatts, 3 days new water. And believe me when I tell you, this guy is an absolute beast. I'm going to tell you what I like about this water, the things that blew my mind, and the things I don't like about it. Hi everyone, my name is Ash. The T-Surge are in collaboration with Sunfix. So, we got this one from Sunfix. Is this and for their collaboration with something? So, this is the screen, and these are the indicators DC, AC, normal, allowance. These are the buttons. This is where all the connections are. Then, by the side, we have guys, heavy 45 kg. kg. So, by the side, we have the on and off, our on and off, and our on and off for the solar TV on and off. We have this at the bottom, we have the grid, we have gen, and we have the node. You can connect the grid and the gen so it can they work together like it changes over by itself. So here we have the battery camera and here we have the inputs for the MPPT and here we have our Wi-Fi connector, our Wi-Fi space for the Wi-Fi module. That's that about the body. Now let's move into those futures. Now let's look at the futures of this inverter. This inverter has a lot of futures which I'm not going to mention. But I'm going to mention the few that are outstanding about this guy right here. One of the first things that I take my mind about this inverter is the PV parameters. Like, you know, just like all these 10 kilowatts, 6.2 kilowatts inverter, the maximum PV input is usually also 6.2. 10 kilowatts will have maximum PV with as 10.2 kilowatts. But this guy right here is 14 kilowatts and it has 20 kilowatts as the maximum PV in place. Not 14, 20 with three different MPPT charge controller in use. Now, those MPPT charge controller can take up to 800 volts, not 500, not 4, can take up to 800 volts, which means you can use 16 pieces of 550 watts panel in series and it's going to just take it like nothing the second one is the source power this guy has the source power as 25 kilowatts it's 40 kilowatts but source power 25 kilowatts within 10 seconds that is huge very huge now the number three feature that blew my mind is that this guy has input pv protection thunder strike lightning strike it has protection from lightning strike from solar. It's among the short circuit protection, overload protection, blood lab protection. It has automatic input PV protection also inside it. That's something I've not seen in any other inverter. I don't know. They might be out there, but I have not seen it. So it doesn't mean you are not supposed to, you are not going to use your storage. You are still going to use your storage, use your thunder and restore. But just in case, you know, maybe your your salt, you install your salt, but maybe your, not all salt that are installed are working. Not all thunder are installed, installed are working. So maybe in the case where you are, you've installed your salt and thunder are installed and they are not working, I did not know. Guys, capable of protecting itself. Another one is 110% overload. It can run 110% overload for two hours 110 percent overload which means even if you exhaust it to 100 percent to 110 percent can still work for two hours and last among the futures that is just outstanding about this guy is that as the three fees it supports completely unbalanced load you know in the case we are using like uh what is three phase generator you have to do your load shedding so that one face will not be working more than the other face so that it will not affect the last one or affect the generator in any way so no shading is very very important but this one they are telling you go and use your load on balance we have you protected we have everything under control so supports completely unbalanced load 
and this guy is IP65 rating, which is water resistant and dust resistant. So it can sit outside comfortably without any risk of damage. So let's go to what I don't like about this inverter. Well, it's just one. The man, no. There's something I don't like about this one. And that's the explanation and illustration of synchronization and posting of multiple machine of this category. It is not quite explained the site is part. They explain it, but the explanation is more or less like somebody they are explaining for a professional that has already been familiar with synchronizing machines of this category. So somebody that has not synchronized or that has not worked with synchronization of any other product cannot only get how to do it with this manner. So the explanation there, if we can explanation like do that as shown in figure 2.2. But then when you check the figure 2.2, the diagram is blurry and you can't really tell which is which. Which because I feel if the whole of the manual is black and white, at least this particular diagram should be colored so that they can use color code. It will be easier to identify. So the communication, most especially the camp, it is there, you will see that they are trying to connect the kind of this to this, the kind of this to this. But the thing is, for somebody that has not connected inverter, that has not synchronized inverters before, or somebody that is not familiar with camp communication with multiple devices, if this manual is what they first get a hold of, then it's going to be difficult to be able to do it right. Because it's very blurry, you look at it, you will still not get it. But if you are somebody that knows how to connect CAN from one device to another, it's not really difficult, but I'm just saying that at least they should have made this specific diagram because that's where the main information of synchronization is and a page before it which is explaining in what. So they should have made it much more clearer so that at least any professional, even if they've not installed or they've not tried to synchronize an inverter before, if they pick up this manner and they read it properly, they used to do it. So it's not really a problem. If you pick it up and you are not getting it, can at least to the company and you'll be guided on how to do it. So that's that about this guy. Once again, my name is Bashir from Internet. If you are new to the channel, consider to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and thumbs up.